15 years ago at just 34, Janine McLean was told she could die after being diagnosed with cervical cancer. I was quite scared. Uh, I didn't know what to do. She opted for a radical hysterectomy, which meant she could never have children. I wanted to protect the life that I had, not the life that I might never get around to having. Constant infection with human papilloma virus is responsible for most cervical cancers. It's the mutated gene that HPV switches on. These scientists have now stopped in its tracks. Basically, we cured cancer in animal models entirely. So cancer cells or the tumours have been cleared 100% with 100% survival rates for every animal used in this study. The team used a gene editing technology capable of slicing strands of DNA called CRISPR to target the mutated gene. So the way this cancer works is the virus has a gene that causes the cells to grow uncontrollably. When we take that gene out with the editing, the cells just die of natural causes and then the tumour melts away. They are hailing it as a world first. Unbelievable. Oh, was, we, we saw the results and we searched high and low to see if there were any signs of tumour with very sensitive techniques and we couldn't find it. So it was, it was a cure. Fantastic result. Marta Hospital oncologist Lewis Perrin says 250 women die from the disease every single year. Our aim is to translate this exciting finding into the practical treatment for our women. To give them a second chance. Imagine the lives that this could save. This research will have wider implications for all cancers with human trials due to be done within five years. Scientists say this therapy is literally the missing tool in the genetic toolbox. For Janine, this breakthrough has come too late, while others now have hope. They have made incredible discovery and hopefully on the way to, to curing the big C. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.